Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I have the profound honor and privilege to introduce to you all the brand new Grant Stone Coast sneaker. Just look at these. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that I have never claimed to be a sneaker guy. I actually never really was a big fan of them. I've always been a derby fan, and I think that these sneakers actually strike a very good balance between a traditional dress casual derby and a sneaker. Now, the only thing by my eye that's a sneaker about this is the sole itself, but the upper is made of very robust materials. So this is the Coast sneaker in tobacco calfskin. Just look at that beautiful tobacco color upper that this is made from. These are not cheap sneakers. These are not built with flimsy materials at all. Uh, so we've got a tobacco calf upper. We've got a nice lace to toe sneaker pattern. So these are padded, lightly padded though. They're not super heavy duty, fluffy, thick padding like uh, most sneakers have. And then what's really nice is in the back of the heel here, it's actually got rough out, which will prevent heel slip. Very brilliant design function there. Also on the inside, it's got the Grant Stone logo. It says details first, made in Jamen. We have the style number written on the inside, as well as the size, very cool. Also says made in Jamen on the tongue. And then one of my favorite features is there's a little loop on the tongue that also has the Grant Stone logo embroidered, stitched in there. Super cool added detail. Grant Stone really does a good job with the fine details. And then on this right shoe, actually, it's got really nice striations, really good character in the tobacco calfskin. So let me read a little bit about these. So the coast embodies a dress sneaker silhouette while using our favorite vegetable tanned leathers. The aniline dyed calf has a less pigmented painted look instead of having a certain transparency adding depth to the leather. The result is a natural appearance that becomes richer with wear. So we've got a cup sole construction with sidewall stitch. It's built on the Naples last. This is a new last for Grant Stone, the Naples last. It's Italian calf, vegetable tanned, full grain kip leather lining, kip leather sock liner, Vibram cup sole. And for the sneakers, sizing advice, true to size. I'm a size nine Brannock. These are size 9D. The fit is spot on. I wear an eight and a half on the Leo last. I wear an 8E. I actually like the 8E on the Floyd last. I find that the 9Ds are definitely a perfect fit. This Naples last is definitely a smaller last, so you want to go true to size on this for sure. So these are not the only sneakers that they released. They released four models and they're all beautiful. They're all $282, which is a really good price for these sneakers, in my opinion. So there's also the Coast sneaker in Saddle Tan, which is Badalassi vegetable tan leather. I actually have three, no, I actually have five pairs of footwear <laughs> in Badalassi veg tan. They're all Grant Stone. They're all absolutely wonderful. That Saddle Tan is a home run leather. In fact, here's my diesels in Saddle Tan. And while we're at it, why don't we get a little size comparison? So here is the Grant Stone diesel boot Leo last eight and a half. And here is the sneaker in 9D on the Naples last. Yeah, looks to me like the same length there. And then let's turn it. So the diesels probably look about the same width, probably even wider at a half size down here on the diesel boot. So yeah, so definitely if, if your Leo fits well, if you're happy with your Leo size, go up a half size for the sneaker. All right, anyways, the Coast sneaker in Saddle Tan, beautiful. And then next up is the Coast sneaker in Black Calf. Amazing. This one's different because this one actually has the a black Vibram cup sole. As compared to the other ones, they have a white cup sole. And then the one that I was probably most tempted by after the Tobacco Calf was the Coast sneaker in Natural Minerva. These are crazy. I really like the light natural look that these have going on. So this natural Minerva is also battle assy. 
The leather is placed in a botali, which is a large barrel that rotates, allowing the organic tanning substances to stay in contact with the article. A complete cycle may take 30 to 35 days. The leather is durable, has the scent of a saddle room, and ages beautifully. Prominent vamp breaks and variation in color should be expected with this type of bovine leather. Four home runs there. I will leave links to all four in the description below. I'm very happy that I finally found a sneaker that I actually like. And when I talk about sneakers, I'll bring these things into the uh, into the mix. So, so these are my J. Crew Ortho Light sneakers. I don't know. I got them on sale. They're made in China, size nine. Uh, this is what I think of when I think of a sneaker. I do not like these. I don't understand why anybody would have stuff like this in their rotation and then they reach for this over this. It just never made any sense to me. Like, I hate to trash sneakers, but like th this type of sneaker, I really do not like. Look at this, it's all synthetic, it's all glued. People have this misconception that something like this is comfortable. Uh, lightweight is not necessarily comfortable or supportive. That's why I prefer heavier stuff, you know, heavier components. I've always been that way. I mean, then again, I, I do like heavier, chunkier Swiss watches as well. So I've always just liked heavier stuff, that's my preference, and uh, I, I could never, especially when I see Americans wearing like these with like khakis and wearing those to work, nothing churns my stomach worse than that. It's like, I don't know, some somewhere along the lines, we lost our way as a, <laughs> as a society and started thinking that something like this is comfortable. This is a knockoff. This is workout equipment, okay? Th this to me, this is not day-to-day -day footwear. First off, these are gonna get gross over time, especially if you wear them every day. They don't look nice, they don't function well, they don't give you good support. People that think these give you good support actually don't understand what good support is. Good support is <laughs> leather, leather beneath your feet. Steel shanks, you could knock on that. That support, this is, come on, this, this, is, not, this is not support, it's like a, cheap suede upper it's got like this weird mesh breathable material in it uh, I just not a big fan anyways I'm gonna you know run in these for probably a year I haven't used them yet but, but I'll jog in these for probably about a year and then chuck them because the this is not a shoe that you treasure or care for Th this here is workout equipment <laughs> that's my opinion now these Grant Stone sneakers are not that these are actually made with real leather high quality a grade leather from a real Italian tannery, actual real components that you can trust in. Not to mention the sole, Vibram cup sole, is an easy wearing, great sole for a sneaker. This is how you do a sneaker. <laughs> not this, this is not how you do a sneaker. This is, once again, this is workout equipment. This is not something, even I know some people, they think, oh, on a casual day, I'll throw these on with jeans. These do not look good with jeans. <laughs> <laughs> these don't look good with anything. These look good with uh, workout clothes, and that they don't—they don't look—they never look good. So why would you? Why would you do that to yourself? Anyways, long story short, I'll stop trashing these sneakers and uh, <laughs> talk about the good stuff. These Grant Stone Co sneakers. <laughs> Wyatt here—he's a mastermind when it comes to footwear. He understands fit. He understands components. He understands style. He understands longevity. He understands what constitutes time-tested footwear. And when it came to a sneaker, leave it to him to design the best possible sneaker imaginable. And that's what these are. I can't wait till the summer, till the weather starts warming up. I'm gonna start throwing these on and wearing these a lot more. Some days, especially on a hot day, you don't wanna throw on a really chunky boot. The, the Derby is my most practical go-to after that, but I never reach for sneakers until now. These sneakers are definitely gonna become a summer staple for me. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Let's keep the love of footwear alive. Go give Grant Stone a look. I will leave links, all the links in the description below. And also leave me your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think about the amazing new Co sneaker. Which model of the four is your favorite? So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.